I can't, I can't even tell my brain certain words. Like I can't say things that are going to detrimentally affect me. That's how crazy this has now gotten. I can't say the word tired and associate it with myself. I can't because I know that if I associate it, my brain is going to pick it up. I can't say, oh, weak, and then put me and attach myself to the word. I can't bring the two together because I know that my brain is listening. Shh. You're probably watching this right now and thinking, you've absolutely lost your mind. You're off the brackets, you're insane, right? Notice how you're saying, oh, that, that's you, what I'm thinking. See how I'm like explaining how you would say it to me? I'm not saying that for myself, right? The reason why I'm saying that is because it's so interesting. Ben Sweetland, Grow Rich While You Sleep. I have been playing and listening to this book on repeat. It is not a joke. Your subconscious mind is always listening. Your conscious mind acts in a certain way dependent on what the signals from your subconscious mind are telling you to do. There are certain things you do every single day that you know to do because that's just in your nature. So here's the thing. Every single thing you're thinking about is so important. It's detrimentally, not even, it can be detrimental if you use it in the wrong way. What, what do I mean about that? But in Sweetland, Grow rich while you sleep, right? In this book, he talks about how the way you think becomes your reality. If you think positively, you're gonna have positive things happen. If you're a negative thinker, negativity will follow you and chain itself to your inner core. And for some reason, this chain will seem invisible because it, the, the negativity is making it seem like that. But positive people can see that chain and they can see at the end of the chain over there is a big ball of negativity. Why you can't go there, do this. And positive people can see that. A lot of people don't realize that there are a lot of people in the world that can sense energy and sense being. It's very true, right? I'm a Christian, I believe God is a divine figure in my life and the biggest part of my inner core. And I also understand that in the Bible it says that you battle not just your flesh but the principalities and different things that you can't see. And what I've realized is that negativity and positivity is a big, big energy around some people, right? You find that a lot of people vibrate at certain frequencies. What do I mean by that? Your, your cells, right? Even if you don't be spiritual, your body has cells that vibrate at certain frequencies. Wood vibrates at a slower frequency than metal perhaps. Right, something that's fizzing is very volatile, it's very fast. It fizzes very fast. Science, right? People are the same thing. People say that when you listen to certain music, there is a certain vibration that's given off. Have you ever met someone that listens to very, very sad music, right? You probably watch it and say, oh, I listen to sad music. But listen, sad, sad music. I know certain songs that if you play right now, my brain is going to trigger an emotional response. And then, oh, I stop crying. And I'm emotional no i remember that memory that memory because the neurological links to these songs that they've created right a very happy song because i'm happy da, da, da. immediately you're thinking about good times and your family and your friends and things are trailing and everything is a fantastic right why why ask yourself that why is that happening it's a vibration right and then other people can pick that up on you have you ever met have you ever been happy and then met someone that's very sad on a certain day, right? Any circumstance, you kind of go down like this. Then you have a friend that's always energetic, always positive, and you're like, wow, see that I wanna be on that level, I don't. So in this book, the positive thoughts vibrate better than the negative ones. And you find that that's why positive people are close to positive people. If you're negative, you will have negative people that come close in your life. You attract what you are, law of attraction. We read the book, right? You attract what you are. Have you ever found that if you're a very sporty person, the moment you find someone that's good at sport and really driven, you attract them. Whether you like doing this badminton, you find someone in badminton, whatever it is. So, 
What am I trying to get at this book? I feel like this book is highlighting a lot of different elements of our lives. A lot of people are on a path right, which is like this. It's moving, you're in the sea, you're swimming, you're trying to get to a destination, any destination, you have a different destination. Amazing house, amazing family, amazing family, decent house, whatever you want, right? And it's not even put money in it, but whatever you want is going to be determined on the thoughts, whether you sink or you swim. If you're negative, you're going to drown, fam. It's not going to be good, right? You're positive, you're going to fly through the air like this. And I'm saying this from a very neutral I'm not even going to say neutral because you can't. I read another book that says you can't, you can't pick or choose. But anyways, all I'm saying is that, dude, the more positive you think, the better things become. I am learning this myself. I'm not saying this from the position that I know everything. I'm positive every day. Ah, yeah, because that would be low key psychopathic. Even Jordan Peterson says that that like that's a bit, mm, a bit scary. What I'm trying to tell you is that you got to work hard. In a positive way as much as try as hard as possible grasp onto that positivity with your life because negativity is around the corner and it wants to it wants to beat you up right it wants to jump you and take your jordans i'm telling you there are times i'll walk in the street and just be like why did i just have that negative thought everything's good why am i thinking like that the fight is between you the positive you and the negative you do not let the negative you win because it exists i used to think oh negative me doesn't exist i'm positive it exists the thing that you think that your body your negative self knows and that's going to affect your conscious your self-conscious and you're going to become negative innately work hard stay determined be positive ben sweetland grow rich or you sleep nothing else to say it's a boy mass stroke let go